all right ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel today we have another houston rockets video for you guys they just got their 17th win of the season this was a great game i know the los angeles clippers were missing they were missing some pretty important guys Kawhi leonard and paul george but either way i mean first off the rockets are missing almost half their team essentially so this is a great win we already have secured the worst record in the nba this is all about bragging rights right here. I mean, it, this is beautiful. I would have loved to have this win against the Lakers the other night, but th this will do just fine. I mean, they did a great job tonight. They shot the ball 53% from the field, a solid 38 from the from the three. Didn't turn the ball over too much late, but they did turn it over a lot early on. Had 15, but all around, these young guys are absolutely going off. Now, I know they only had nine guys playing tonight, but still, you're playing a solid Los Angeles Clippers team. Their starting lineup was Morris, Zubat, Kennard, Scrub, and Rondo. They got Batum, Patterson, Boogie, Ibaka, Yogi all on the bench. So they're still a great team, playoff team, even contenders. So on the Rocket side, you had Kelly Olynyk. He was one rebound away from a triple double. For it felt like, it felt like half the fourth quarter. I think it was really only like three or four minutes. I was really hoping he was going to get there. I don't know if he's ever had a career triple double quite yet. I'm pretty positive. I'm like ninety nine percent sure he has not. So that's why I really wanted him to get it tonight because he has been so close in like half the Rockets games. It feels like. I mean, he has literally been an absolute animal on the season he's already got just his total season average up to about 13 and a half points and seven rebounds which is one of his better seasons then you look at his stats on the rockets and it's even better kj martin had another solid night tonight oh a six from deep if he would if he didn't go over six from deep he would have had an incredible game he shot five of six from the field excluding three point shots 13 points nine rebounds for him jay sean tate I loved the aggressiveness tonight, 20 points, 7 of 10 from the field, and this is the best part, 3 of 5 from deep, Jay Sean Tate, while he's still shooting below 30% from the 3 on the season, it's pretty evident that if Jay Sean Tate can develop a good or at least average 3-point shot, like 35%, I mean, this dude is going to be significantly better already, so Jay Sean Tate, the rookie, out of Ohio State. First off, another, a quick thing about Jay Sean Tate. He has looked so slim in the last couple of weeks, last couple of games. If he can slim down and develop a three-point shot, I mean, I don't know, dude. This this guy's a legitimate possible all-star candidate for next season, as crazy as it may sound. Kyrie Thomas got the start tonight. He is coming off a guaranteed contract, which is awesome to see 17 points three rebounds five assists on an extremely efficient eight of 11 from the field and 101 from deep threw in three blocks i mean i feel like i say this about half the rockets team the whole rockets team Kyrie, like it's just not even all these are stat lines like 17 three and five is an extremely good stat line but he had an incredible game tonight, man. He, this dude is legit. I'm glad he got signed. Now, I am a little worried because we do have three first-round picks next season. I'm worried about roster spots. However, you got the John Wall news breaking today. You never know what Stone has up his sleeve. DJ also got the start tonight, 13-4-5 and five for him, pretty, relatively efficient. Anthony Lamb. Anthony Lamb. I'm very worried for Anthony Lamb. I think he can help contribute on a different team. I would love if he was like on our G League roster for next season, but unfortunately he, he's strung or not th this is an unfortunate he's strung together a couple of good games in the last couple of weeks of the regular season i don't know if it's been enough for the rockets to sign him to a contract next year i honestly don't think it is so i'm very worried i don't think we'll see anthony lamb back on the rockets next season he went 17 5 and 3 tonight three of five from deep six of ten from the field he was extremely efficient i mean I'm I'm just a little worried about, or I shouldn't say worried about Anthony Lamb because I want him to strive in whatever environment he's on, and I don't think it's going to be the Rockets because looking at next year, I don't really know how much he's going to be able to play. Lastly, you had Armani Brooks, 15, 3, and 3, 3 6 of 11 from the field, 3 of 7 from 3. I, I, I think he's going to take huge strides next season, especially offensively. If he can just develop a couple of more skills 
on the offensive side, which he's already starting to do. I mean, he's going to be legit. So this Houston Rockets team, they're looking super, super, super solid. And I think the future is extremely bright. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's Houston Rockets recap. Only got one more left. So I wanted to get this out for you guys. Hit that like button. Hit that sub button if you enjoyed. I'll see you later.